My name is Tyler Parsons and you're watching The Road. marks the 99th anniversary of the Memorial Cup. This prestigious tournament has shaped the way junior hockey is played in North America. The trophy has been held up by many legends over the years and will now head to Windsor this spring where a few familiar faces will be looking to add their name to the list of champions. This is The Road. The Windsor Spitfires became back-to-back -back Memorial Cup champions in 2009 and 2010. They now find themselves hosting the 99th annual Memorial Cup. Both Stanley and Brown are focused on the season at hand, but the thought of bringing the Memorial Cup back to the southernmost city in Canada still resonates in the back of their minds. I think it's in everyone's mind, you know, that we have the cup and, you know, I think we can't think about it too much. You know, we got to go out every night and play like we're trying to make it into the tournament and, you know, get into the playoffs and start winning games there and, you know, just take it day by day. It's going to be a long year and we got to have a lot of fun with it. With the Mem Cup this year, it's, it's obviously nice to know you're in it, but, you know, what we keep harping on in the room is we want to get there the, the real way. We want to get there the hard way and we don't want to take the back door in. We want to we want to win the league and, and we want to win the CHL and, and all and that's really the big goal this year. The London Knights are determined to add their team to the list of defending champions and the individual entrenched between the pipes is looking to lead the way for a second straight year. My name is Tyler Parsons. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I play for the London Knights. I got started in hockey when I was about three, four years old. I always wanted to be a player and be a forward and score all the goals. And, you know, I wasn't scoring as many goals as I wanted to. So the team needed a goalie one day. So I strapped them on and got a shutout. So I haven't went back to being a player ever since then. My parents have made so many sacrifices for me, uh, not doing certain jobs because, you know, I got hockey or trying to work overtime to pay for the hockey pads. You know, growing up, it's, it's a lot of money for goalie equipment. So thanks to them, like I wouldn't be here with, without them and they've done a lot for me. Tyler Parsons, drafted 54th overall by the Calgary Flames last year, never let his size get in the way of pursuing his dream to play hockey at a professional level. Growing up, I played a lot of double-A hockey. You know, I was always told I was too small to play triple-A hockey and that I had the speed, but I was just too small. And you know, even though I wasn't the biggest guy, I, was, I just made sure I went out there and competed harder than all the other goalies there. And eventually I ended up making a triple-A team, Little Caesars, and played out of Detroit. And playing out of the Joe Lewis was a pretty fun experience for me. And I wasn't the biggest goalie, so I just, I had to compete. And that gave me a lot of character, just to be humble and do everything on the ice and off the ice and to be better than the bigger guys or be better than the guy that sits next to you in the room. There's only one starting job in the NHL and you want to be that guy. Winning the Memorial Cup is a feeling that Parsons is looking to replicate this year in order to put a stamp on his tenure in the Ontario Hockey League. So last year we had a great team, we had some all-star players on our team and they definitely got a ton of spotlight and being like an underdog as a, as a goalie, uh, I didn't really let that affect me, I just you know went in there and played my game and I knew what I had to do, I had to be the team backbone and I knew we were going to score goals but it was a matter of keeping the puck out of the net so moving forward from the season to the playoffs, you know, we had to play some pretty good teams like Niagara and Erie who were really good offensively and I really had to step my game up and uh, be there for the team and moving into the Mem Cup, that was an amazing experience. To go 17-0 Oh, and the playoff run and Mem Cup run, uh, it was unbelievable. We had a really special team and to be a part of that was unbelievable. So the Memorial Cup last year, London had a, obviously they had a very good team, but they had to win it in a tough way and that was Tyler, gave them a chance to win. He won a couple of games down the stretch and a game that they were behind in the championship game and then they were able to tie it up and then win. So going into this year, you know, our conversation is just how important it is to be 
successful this year, you know, to play at a high level. Not necessarily to win. Nobody can predict the winning the championship, right? When it comes together, it's a beautiful thing, but you can't count on it no matter how good your team is. It's the try, it's the effort, it's not the results. And if you can slowly, brick by brick, put your game together on the ice and feel that you're playing your best, the rest of it usually falls well into place. This is an important year. This is not a look past year. So he's locked in. Uh, he thinks that they can win again, and that's where you want them thinking. While Parsons backstops his team to the top of the standings, Brown and Stanley continue their preparation for a strong finish and a deep playoff run. Nobody, however, could anticipate what was about to happen next for both of these players. The next few months of the season will cultivate some of their toughest personal obstacles yet where mental perseverance will be a key factor in determining their season's fate. This is The Road.